On October 28, 2017, beloved, I was taken to a valley. It was a very extensive valley, a huge valley, a valley where I have never been before. I began to see a lot of armament of war, and among those armaments, I could begin to see flags. These flags were not all the same, so I would make an effort to see them well until suddenly my eyes focused and saw a well-known flag. It was the American flag. The war between them had started, and many outbreaks, fire. There was slaughter everywhere. This combat was so terrible that even those who were in the same combat feared for their lives. Then suddenly, after the long combat, everything stopped, and a giant dust cloud that was in the air came down. All that my eyes saw was desolation and great slaughter. That scene was so terrible, beloved brothers that I felt myself dying at that moment. Then I cried out, Lord, have they all died? Then at that moment, my companion appeared and told me, no, not all, only those who for this hour were necessary. Then I remembered at this moment, the sixth trumpet came to my memory, where it says that the third of the earth must die. So while I was ecstatic about this, we went to see cities, there was a horror, beloved brothers, a desperation for hunger and thirst. The hunger was terrible, the hunger so great that I saw the people who plunged their hands into the earth digging in search of something to eat. It was a terrible desolation, beloved, terrible, terrible. Then I began to cry bitterly because one as a human is not prepared in a certain way to say this. Then I began to see people, and I saw familiar people. I saw Adventist brothers who had gone from one place to another seeking their salvation, but they had found their destruction, and they were all in such great agony. Then I said, Lord, who can be saved from all this? Then my companion answered me, only the obedient ones. Then my companion gave me an order and said, Go and tell them that everything is ready, that the war will begin, that they get ready, because if they delay, they will perish. So there I woke up, and Jeremiah chapter 9 through chapter 11 was dictated to me. So dear brothers, let's read. Let's read this chapter so that the Lord will tell us all things, and that we will be aware and ready. He says, that in the last days we were going to be running by the expectation of the things that were going to happen. Here the issue is not to run. Here the issue is to follow. It is written. It is to follow God's instructions. It is to prepare ourselves. Because whoever seeks to save his life will lose it. But whoever does not seek to save his life, that one will find it. That one is going to have it. Our hiding places are under the wings of the angels of God, of the Most High. There is no escape on this earthly globe, beloved brothers. Everything we see that is happening here in other places will happen in all places because this has to happen, because it is the hour that this has come, and it has to happen, beloved brothers. But in Christ Jesus, if we obey and we are obedient, as my companion told me, only the obedient, then we will have victory in Christ Jesus. May God bless you wherever you are, and please let's prepare. It is very sad to see people suffer, and even more so when they already knew that this was coming, and that they should have prepared. As Seventh-day Adventists, we know a lot, but we do very little. So may God want us to be doers rather than hearers, so that then we and others may obtain victory in Christ Jesus. May the Lord bless you.